Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lisa. I live in Amsterdam and I'm a very, very brand new expat. I thought I would wear my Santa earrings today because by the time this video comes out, it will already be Christmas. I can't believe this year has already come to an end. I don't even want to talk about 2020 right now. In my last video, I promised that I would share some not so obvious ways to save money in Amsterdam because as you probably already know, Amsterdam is a really expensive city to live in. And I come from Sydney, which is a notoriously expensive city already. Before I start, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below because I am going to be making a few separate videos about this topic with different tips. So if you subscribe, you won't miss out on my new videos. So now that you've subscribed to my channel, I'm going to get started on my number one tip, which is Drum roll! Download the Too Good To Go app. So if you don't know what Too Good To Go is, it is essentially an initiative designed to reduce food waste. As you would know, restaurants, bakeries, supermarkets, all these places often have a lot of food left over at the end of the day. Unfortunately, a lot of this food that they throw out is completely fine. It's not necessarily expired or spoiled. It's just not super, super fresh. Every year, about 1.3 billion tons of food gets wasted. That amount of food equates to about one third of the total food produced around the world. That's a lot of good food that gets wasted. Restaurants and supermarkets can list the food that they have left over at the end of the day and people like me or potentially you can go on the app and purchase this food for a very, very low price. I have used the app a few times now and what I'll do is I'm going to take you back to the few orders that we have made via the app just so you can see the type of food that's available and um, how much we paid for the food as well so you can get an idea of what you can get for the amount of money you pay. Later on at the end of this video, I'll talk a little bit more about how to use the app and some considerations to make when using the app as well. So I just got home from collecting my Too Good To Go order and I resisted the temptation to look inside my bag until I got home. So for just three euros, um, I got this huge bag of stuff. I'm going to start opening. So the first thing that she packed in here for me is a loaf of delicious wholemeal bread. Let's see. Okay, my hands are clean so I can touch this. Let's take it out of here. So the bread looks like this. Next one. Let's see. She just kind of kept taking stuff out. I was like, oh my god. I I kind of didn't expect it to be that much, to be honest. Another loaf of, oh, this is more like half a loaf of bread, I would say. It looks to be more like a sourdough, maybe, a white sourdough. Okay, then I got this. Is a chocolate croissant? And it's a huge one, like it's the size of my face. I'm trying to put my face next to it for <laughs> sizing <laughs> reference. <laughs> wow. She actually took this one right from um, the front counter. So it was actually being sold. Okay, next up. What have we got here? This is... Oh, it's an it's olive bread. There's four of these in here. Feels totally fine, squishy, soft, smells fresh. Another half loaf of bread. So you can tell that this is being cut. From the feel of it, it's a little bit more stale. Maybe it's a two day old loaf of bread, which is completely fine. This Saturday, I've actually got a friend's Skype Thanksgiving dinner. So um, this might actually be perfect for stuffing. So far so good and 
Wow, for three euros, uh, both of us are gonna be happy chappies for the whole week. <laughs> I just came back from another Too Good To Go pickup. Uh, this time it's something a little bit different. I got cakes. This. Uh, cafe this cake store. I've been watching on the app for quite some time, but every single time I miss out Today there was just one left and I managed to snag it. So yeah, let's open it. I actually rode my bike there surprisingly Everything is intact um, Five beautiful American cupcakes. It's an American bakery Yum, I can't remember the last time I had a cupcake like this that's like one euro per cupcake. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, we're yet to taste test it, but how bad can a cupcake possibly taste? Anyway, I better stop filming because my husband already wants to eat one um, and he's like patiently waiting for me to stop. So I'll go serve it and we'll let you know if it was tasty or not. Tell my YouTube viewers how good it is. Approved. Approved. Very delicious. Yeah. A lot of sugar. <laughs> Um, yeah, like a cupcake. Mm -hmm. Yum. So I hope you enjoyed seeing those orders. I tried to pick orders that were a bit different from each other just so you can see the level of variety that the app has to offer. I guess what I'll do is now I'll go through some things that you need to note when using the app. So firstly, you can't really reserve things too far ahead of time. Quite often restaurants will list things and they need to be picked up on the same day or first thing the next day. Things run out quite quickly as well, so you kind of need to be on the ball with the app. Your options are simply dependent on what is available at the time, so you do need a level of flexibility when using this app. What I generally find is I need to go on the app a few times a day if I'm really looking for something. Um, and the second thing to note, you can't actually choose what food comes in your order. Of course, if you order from a a bakery you know you're gonna get baked goods but you're not going to be able to choose sourdough bread you're not going to be able to say I want it all to be pastries it all depends on what is available at the end of the day so if you're someone who is a bit of a picky eater or you've got a lot of dietary intolerances then maybe this app might not be for you another thing I want to show you is how you can decide which shops you should buy from as you can see each shop will actually have the rating for the store so in this particular case the majority of people rated the store as being four out of five stars which is a very good rating people will rate the quality of the food the customer of service and then finally at the bottom you can also see how many reviews were given just to give you an idea of how reliable and consistent those ratings are so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and that it encourages you to give the too good to go app a go to be honest I didn't even really want to make this video because I love the app so much I didn't want to tell anyone and um, create more competition for myself but you know I'm, I'm a good person and I want to share this knowledge with the YouTube community and the expat community you know I think it's it's such a great initiative it not only saves you money but like I said it saves the environment as well if you like this video please give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and Merry Christmas as well to everyone it's been such a tough year if you made it to this stage and you're watching this 
video. Well done. Kudos to you. Um, I hope that, you know, wherever you are, you're staying safe and healthy and warm or cool. If you're in Australia, I hope you got your air conditioning on and I will see you in the new year. Bye. Thank you.